Hey guys, this is Shelda and welcome to my Classic WoW leveling guide. I want to start off by saying that this is not a speed leveling guide, this is a grinding and gold making guide. The point of this guide is to get you to 60 with as much gold as possible and as little effort as possible. The zones and the mobs in this guide have first and foremost been picked for the profitability, secondly for their rate of XP and thirdly for convenience. The professions we choose in this guide also play a major role in creating our income. We will pick up both herbalism and mining and I know what you're thinking, but you can't track both of those. Don't worry, the zones and the areas in this guide was picked with these things in mind. I can assure you that this is the most profitable guide on YouTube as I have scoured the internet for everything related to this topic. And I have up until this point leveled 4 different characters to level 60 in Classic Wall. All while testing and improving upon this guide. And I am still at it, now leveling my 5th character. We will expect to have earned between 1000 to 1500 gold when we hit level 60 depending on your server's economy. Understand that the zones and the areas in this guide does not only value one thing. If your favorite spot isn't here, it's probably because it doesn't include all the things I mentioned. Ask yourself, does it include a convenient way to level both mining and herbalism? Does the mobs drop valuable items? How contested is this area? Are there enough mobs? How's the respawn rate? How much XP does the mobs provide? how easy are the mobs to kill for different classes and so on. All of these things were tested and kept in mind when creating this guide. Now that's all for my intro. But before we start, here's a list of the add-ons that I recommend you download. And now with that out of the way, let's get into the guide. Alright, start off by making two characters. One bank Elt and your main character. Log on to your Bangal and run him to his faction's major city. If you want to, you can level your Bangal to level 5 so he can learn enchanting and disenchant the greens that we'll be sending to him. As you arrive, scan the auction house and then log off. The reason why we do this is so that when we hover over items on our main character, the value of those items show up. Now it's time to log on to our main character and start leveling. From levels 1 till 5 we'll be doing our starter zone quests while also grinding mobs. While questing in this area make sure you're constantly killing mobs when traveling from one area to another. I also have to mention that this guide is horde specific up until level 20. If you are an alliance player, you can easily follow this guide from levels 20 and onward. Now I also quickly want to touch on why I prefer this type of leveling. Through questing you may reach level 60 maybe a day or two faster than mostly grinding, but you end up with barely any gold to afford your epic mount and pre-rate gear, and then having to secure yourself a source of income. Following my guide you are hitting two birds with one stone. This way of leveling is also a lot more simple and effortless to follow and it lets you do other stuff like watching Netflix, YouTube and so on. You don't need to sit glued to your screen, reading long quest texts and traveling several contents just to complete a single quest. Now with all that said you hear me say mostly grinding. That's because there are still times where I'd recommend we do the quests specific to the zones we're in. But for now, let's get back to the guide. Whenever you reach level 5 and are done with your starter zone quests, go ahead and learn Herbalism and Mining. For Orcs and Trolls, Herbalism can be learned at Senjin Village and Mining can be learned at Razor Hill. And remember to buy a Mining Pick when you learn Mining. For levels 5 till 10, mainly grind the boars between Senjin Village and Razor Hill while focusing on leveling your herbalism and mining. Mostly focus on herbalism since we can skill up mining quickly by melting the ore we find. The reason why we primarily go for the boars is because they drop a chunk of boar meat which sells for a lot on the auction house as it's used to power level cooking. 
make sure both herbalism and mining is above level 50 before you reach level 10 where we move on from this area. When you reach skill level 50 in mining and herbalism, you can learn journeyman mining at Razor Hill and journeyman herbalism in Sinjin village or in any major city. Whenever your bags are filled, make sure you send anything of value to your bank out so you can sell it on the auction house. At levels 10 to 13, grind the mobs outside Orkuma while still mainly focusing on the boars. When you reach level 13, it's time to move on to the barons. But before we do that, let's just log on to our bank out and see how much we've earned. Alright, so the first time around, as you can see, they sold each stack sold for 60 silver, around 60 silver per stack of boar meat. But uh, the second time around, as you can see now, I'm putting it back on auction house. This time around they sell for a lot more, so the price, they fluctuate a lot on the auction house, this time it's 2 gold. Alright, so this was the third time I logged in to my bank elt. And this time I've sold all the boar meat that I found on my main. And as you can see I've made quite the profit. I recommend that you send some gold to your main. And then I also recommend that you buy a few bags for him so he can carry more loot. Also keep in mind that the reason why this meat sells so well on the auction house is because we are on a progressed server. This wouldn't be possible on a fresh server. Alright, now it's time to make our way to the barons. Hopefully you have kept up with your herbalism and mining up until now. You should at least have skill level 50 in both mining and herbalism before we get to barons. Skill level 50 in Herbalism will allow you to herb Mace Royale, while skill level 70 in Herbalism will allow you to herb Briarthorn. I will put a chart in the screen for both Herbalism and Mining, so you can see all the available herbing and mining nodes in the Barons and what skill level they require. Pause the video to have a better look at each of these charts. For levels 13 till 20 you have now two options for what you can do. But first of all, make your way to the crossroads, set your hearthstone, and take the flight path. Option number one, which is also the option that I prefer the most, is that you pick up every quest in the barons, you start completing these quests while also grinding mobs. There is no particular order that you should do this in, nor are there any particular mobs that you should be grinding. Do the quest as you like to do, and grind the rest of the way to level 20. If you stick with option number one, make sure you also pick up all the quests at Ratchet and at the guy in the hut just west of Crossroads. Option number two is a purely grind based option. For option number two, start off by grinding the mobs at this coast until you reach level 16. Once you hit level 16, move to the harpies in this area and grind on those until you hit level 19. These harpies have a fast respawn rate and there should be plenty of mining and herbing nodes in this area. And the light feathers that these mobs drops can sometimes sell for a lot on the auction house. And whenever you need to sell accumulated trash loot, there's a vendor right around the corner. And for levels 19 till 20, grind the mobs around camp, uh, whatever. Also make sure you've made it till at least level 65 in mining and 100 in herbalism. If not, now's the time to catch up. If you can find a group for whaling caverns, go ahead and do so. Just make sure you get all 7 quests for the dungeon, which will provide a huge chunk of XP. And potentially a few gear upgrades. Now this wraps up part 1 of my 3 part leveling guide. If you liked the video or found it helpful, please give the video a like and subscribe to my channel so you can stay tuned for part 2 where we go over levels 20 to 40.